Hello, dear viewers. The Joint Egyptian-American Archaeological Mission, comprising the Supreme Council of Antiquities and the University of Colorado, succeeded two days ago, in the 3rd of March 2024, in uncovering the upper part of a massive statue of King Ramses II during excavations conducted by the mission in the Minya Governorate. Dr. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, emphasized the importance of this discovery. The archaeological study conducted on the newly uncovered upper part of the statue confirmed that it complements the lower part discovered by the German archaeologist Roder in 1930. He noted that the mission has begun the process of archaeological cleaning and reinforcement in preparation for studying and preparing a complete depiction of the statue. In the coming minutes, we will discuss the most prominent information about this important archaeological discovery. Dr. Magdi Sharkir, the chief archaeologist at the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, revealed details of the new archaeological discovery achieved by the Joint Egyptian-American Mission in the Ashmunan area of Minya Governorate today. This discovery included the upper part of a massive statue of King Ramses II, uncovered during excavations conducted by the mission in the area. During statements made on an Egyptian television program on Monday evening, he stated that this discovery complements the finding of the sarcophagus of King Samtik I, which was discovered yesterday in the grounds of Benha Hospital and weighs 62 tons. He emphasized the historical importance of the Ashmunan area in Minya Governorate, explaining that it was one of the creation myths in ancient Egypt, a sacred and religious city, containing many archaeological burial tombs in the Tuna el Gebel area, making it an important region throughout the ages. He explained that the discovered statue of King Ramses II, when completed, will be 7 meters long and made of limestone, making it a significant and massive statue. He noted the ancient Egyptians' interest in the grandeur of their statues, as Ramses II was nicknamed, the Master Builder, and, Prince of Lovers. He expressed hope for the return of tourism to Minya Governorate, which is home to many historical archaeological sites mentioning that it witnessed the establishment of the first Olympic Games in the world and the first center for monotheism in Armana, in addition to being one of the stages of the Holy Family's journey. The unveiling of this substantial part of the statue of King Ramses II indicates the importance of this site, which will reveal further archaeological discoveries in the coming period. The discovered part is made of limestone and measures approximately 3.80 meters in height. It depicts King Ramses II seated wearing the double crown with the royal cobra adorning the head covering. Hieroglyphic inscriptions of titles praising the king are visible on the upper part of the statue's back pillar. When the lower part is attached, the statue's size could reach about 7 meters. The mission has commenced archaeological cleaning and reinforcement of the statue in preparation for its study and the preparation of a complete depiction. The mission began excavation work in the area last year in an attempt to uncover the religious center of the city of Ashmunan during the New Kingdom period up to the Roman era. During its first excavation season in the area, the mission succeeded in restoring and reassembling the massive granite columns located on the northern side of the Basilica of Ashmunan, built over the ruins of the Temple of Bitham, dedicated to the Virgin Mary, during the 6th century AD. In ancient Egypt, the city of Ashmunan was known as Kimenu, meaning the city of eight, as it was the center of worship for the Egyptian god Thamun. In the Greco-Roman period, it was known as Hermopolis Magna and was a center for the worship of the god Tahut and the capital of the 15th province. In conclusion of this video, we thank you for watching and hope you have enjoyed the valuable information we provided about the significant archaeological discovery in the Ashmunan area. The unveiling of the upper part of the statue of King Ramses II reflects the importance of this archaeological site and promises further exciting discoveries in the future. Let's continue to follow the developments and discoveries in the world of archaeology together. Thank you and goodbye.